Well, my name is Joe Cleveland. My um, primary role is an account manager, sales uh, executive here at Crystal. Uh, basically, I'm responsible for all domestic government DOD accounts within the uh, Congress United States. And my job role is basically to ensure that uh, um, I can be a customer's advocate for Crystal. I'm also responsible for ensuring that the customer is happy with what the products that they have, the services they have, and be able to bring that back to Crystal and to our, uh, we'll say, stakeholders here for it to be able to take uh, appropriate action. Well, I've been working with Crystal for um, probably about 14 years. Well, it's kind of silly, but uh, what brought me here was is actually Roger Franklin. Um, you know, a lot of people in the industry see him as a, a person of great integrity, uh, very knowledgeable. He's one of these engineers that can basically break things down to very technically, uh, high technical, technical type things down to um, more of, we'll say, layman's terms. You don't see very many people around like that. And personally, I just enjoy working with Roger with his, um, his demeanor, the way he treats people, and the way he runs the company. Well, my favorite thing about working with Crystal is working with a, uh, a professional team. I'm a, I can really enjoy both roles of being a leader, but also being a team member. And when you have a team that, can, uh, that you can depend on to do the job and to be able to support you when you're out in the field, because I'm out in the field quite a bit. As I was talking about, I'm more or less the Crystal, the face of Crystal. You have to have people back here that are going to listen to you, understand the meaning behind when you have something to relate to them. I think my most memorable, recent memorable, I mean, you're talking about 14 years, so it's, there's a lot of different memorable moments. But uh, probably my most recent uh, uh, project that I worked with was with a joint, um, or JSOC out at Fort Bragg, being prime military. I enjoy those kind of projects because it gives me the opportunity to kind of step into that world that I used to be in and, um, and be able to, you know, just talk basically their jargon and be able to provide a service knowing the crystal of his, you know, the reputation we have and provide that service to, uh, to the U.S. military. I enjoy that, but in the same sense, part of my job is also being able to go out and uh, ask customers questions about different challenges and, and trying to think about what kind of solutions we may be able to may fit their needs that we can provide. So that's the other part of sales is really it's consultative type selling. It's more than just, you know, how many widgets do you need? Um, so that's what I find interesting. There's always new things around the corner. I mean, we saw probably a couple of years ago, the 3D uh, capability was the biggest raw and everything else. We saw that kind of fell by the wayside. But, you know, Roger uh, has really stepped upon uh, and thought about this with metadata. Uh, metadata is the, uh, I think, is a roadmap for the future. As the consumer demands more and more um, capability, the industry, in order to be viable, has to be able to meet their, their, um, you know, their wishes. So I think that that's probably where a lot of the roadmap is going to go. And also, I think some of the roadmap is pretty much going to be um, basically a hybrid type systems where we have traditionally uh, used satellite um, distribution paths or contribution paths. I think that probably they'll, we see our customers leaning more and more toward terrestrial type um, distribution and contribution. And the hybrid would be able to be able to select dynamically between the two different uh, distribution paths, whatever what are factors that may be cost, it may be um, uh, you know environmental type issues or things like that that warrant somebody selecting um, you know satellite over uh, terrestrial type of distribution. Well, projects I do outside my work, uh, I enjoy a number of different things. I wouldn't quite say I have a specific hobby. Um, much like my position here, I'm kind of a jack of all trades. I enjoy working my hands. I'm good to work my hands on mechanical um, cars. You know, I enjoy going fishing um, when I get the opportunity. I enjoy woodwork. So I'm just like a normal, we'll say a normal Joe. <laughs> <laughs>